I'm Cadence McKenna, your neighborhood reporter in Woodway. I'm at the Midway ISD headquarters where millions of taxpayer savings are being realized and what local district leaders are doing with the money saved. Situation at Midway ISD, it just, it, it had been patchwork and band-aid and duct tape for way too many years and it was past time. The $148 million 2019 bond helped Midway ISD build new schools and renovate current campuses. But the cost of the work was completed under budget, leaving the district with $6.2 million to use on other projects. We spent about $1.5 million on safety upgrades, including some of the equipment uh, that we needed to be able to start the Midway Police Department. The security aspect of the buildings was, was very out of date before we passed the bond. We don't have situations like before where you could walk around the school and find doors that were just sort of cocked open or the locks were broken. The leftover bond money is being used to update lighting around the district, add inclusive playgrounds to each elementary school, and update video management systems. The savings are possible because the Midway School Board agreed to pay off some of the district's bond debt ahead of schedule, saving millions in taxpayer dollars. The district um, uses um, excess tax collections um, to pay off um, parts of our bonded debt early. By being able to pay down debt on bonds early, what it does is reduce the amount that we have to pay in terms of interest. Brooks tells me the strategy used is pretty common, but leaves a big impact. We've done four defeasances in 2019, 2020, 2023, and 2024, and it's uh, net savings of uh, $2.9 million. It just positions us to be able to take care of students in a way that reduces the financial pressure on parents and business owners who are in our community. Midway ISD tells me the 2019 bond was completed on time and under their budget. Your neighborhood reporter in Woodway, I'm Cadence McKenna.